Hi, it's Maureen with Promotion Career Solutions, and today I'm talking to you about how to figure out what you want to do next. Hey, thanks for watching. So I get this question all the time. Maureen, I'm not happy doing what I'm doing. How do I make sure that I don't fall into the same trap when I look for my next job? Oh, how do I make sure to avoid any traps whatsoever? So I've worked with a lot of executives and occasionally they'll come to me and they'll say, Maureen, I moved out of one job into another job too quickly and now I'm miserable. What can I do? So we really, really want to prevent that from happening. But if you do find yourself in that position and you're starting to look for something else, here's one way that you can make sure you've created a template or a framework to include all of the important elements of what constitutes a good job for you. Remember, what works for you might not work for someone else. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to sit down and create a list of things that must be included in order for a job to be a good offer for you. So that might include things like the colleagues that you work for, the clients you work with, the leadership that you're accountable and responsible to. It might include salary and promotion, but it might also include the industry that you decide to work in. Culture will be important to you, I suspect. What about compensation and benefits? What about commute time? What about flexibility of time, the freedom to come and go as you choose? Have you thought about how you'll work in that environment? Do you have complete autonomy or is your organization structured in a fashion that is either rigid or suits you just fine? I once had the pleasure of working with a sales manager who transitioned into a new job. She had hoped it would be 80% customer facing and 20% management. When she got there, it was 20% client facing and 80% management. She wasn't happy and she wasn't there long. These are some of the things to consider before you make a career transition. Just some of the things, there's lots others to consider. What's the best possible outcome for you? Once you have a template or a framework, you're off to the races. Don't go into your next job search hoping for something different without first defining what success looks like. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate you being here. If you liked or enjoyed the video, please give us a like down below in the com near the comment section. And if you have a question or you want to make a comment, please do so there. Thanks again.